Hi friends, this is Angelica. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be focusing on birthday cards and I'm going to be using a few products from The Greetery and from Pixie Dust Designs. We're going to start with um, the birthday balloon die set from Pixie Dust Designs. Let's take a quick look at the dies and then we're going to jump right into the projects. This die set has 14 pieces to it. There's a variety of balloons, including four balloons um, if you like to make shaker cards, which we will be making a shaker card. There's also four different strings for the balloons, and we're going to start with the heart balloon. So I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to ink them with Distress Oxide inks. For the yellow balloon, I'm using fossilized amber and squeezed lemonade. I also have a mossy forest finger sponge out to help add a darker tone to the areas that I want to have shadows. I do like to add a different kind of color outside of the yellow family when I'm um, coloring with yellow or painting, um, inking with yellow. It just really helps darken um, the yellow tones. Usually um, yellows only just get brighter. So the mossy, um, the mossy forest ink is just going to really tone, tone down the yellow and add a really nice shadow effect, which is what I'm looking for um, with the, with this balloon. Moving on to the pink balloon, I started with saltwater taffy and festive berries, and then I brought in aged mahogany to darken the same areas as the yellow balloon. And I'm gonna color all three balloons the same. So the last balloon I wanted to be orange, so I picked dried marigold and a rusty hinge. To put the card together, I've already stamped a card panel with the Greetery's ticker tape background stamp with um, a light gray ink and I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the Greetery Sentiment Suite birthday stamp set onto the panel and I'm going to put the balloons on the panel in the arrangement that I want. I pushed the balloons up just a little bit and put a little black dot right underneath the um, balloon and I'm going to use my T-ruler to draw a straight black line from that black dot to the bottom of the panel. This is going to be the strings for my balloons. I'm also going to use my black pen to add a little line at the bottom of the balloons to look like the string is wrapped around the balloons. And I'll attach the balloons to the card with thin foam squares. And that's going to finish this first card with the heart balloons. I love how these little heart balloons turned out. I'm glad I decided to ink them with Distress Oxide ink so I could add some shading to them. But now we are going to use solid cardstock for the next card. I pulled out a rainbow of um, paper scraps, cardstock scraps, and I die cut them with the balloon dies, the oval balloon dies. And I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing as I did with the heart balloons. I made a layout with them on the panel. I lifted them up a little bit, put the black dot um, where the balloons are, and then I'm drawing the black lines for the strings. I'm going to attach the balloons to the card front with thin foam squares. And for the balloons that are on the edge of the panel, I am going to put the thin foam squares on the panel instead of on the balloon. That way, when I trim the edges, I'm not trying to cut through foam squares. I love making my own backgrounds with uh, die cuts, and this is such a great way to use your leftover paper scraps. So once I finished getting this card front done, I added a heat embossed happy birthday from the Greetery's birthday stamp set, and that finishes this card. Now I did make a second card pretty much in the same manner using the smallest balloon die in this um, birthday balloon set. And then instead of using a black pen for the strings, I used a sparkle gel pen. For the next card, I'm going to use the large heart balloon frame die to die cut a window in the middle of a blush pink card panel. And once the window's die cut, I'm going to flip the panel to the back side and add adhesive around the window. I'm using 1 8 inch score tape to do this. Once I have it completely around the window, I'm going to take the backing off and attach a piece of acetate to the adhesive. 
I'll use my detail scissors to trim around the window to cut off the rest of the acetate that I don't need. And then I'm going to use thin foam strips to um, make a well pretty much for the shaker card. So I take the backing off of the strips first and this is gonna help the adhesive or help the strips curve with the heart. I'm going to fill the window with Sunny Studio Stamps Iridescent Pastel Confetti. This confetti is so cute and it matches the blush pink cardstock wonderfully. So I'm not gonna overfill the window. I just want enough in there so when you do shake the card, the confetti can move. Uh, once I like the amount that I have in the window, I'm going to put another piece of acetate over the window and use my detail scissors to cut off the excess. And now I have a really cute and clean and simple, that's my favorite kind of card to make, um, shaker card. I die cut raspberry sorbet cardstock. Um, with the string dies and picked out a string that I liked and then I used the same colored cardstock to die cut the balloon frame. So before I die cut the balloon frame, I did add some adhesive to the back of the cardstock. Um, I used a little Xyron runner and adding adhesive to the cardstock first before die cutting the heart is gonna make it really easy to attach it to the acetate. Um, if you use glue on acetate, it just, easily can become a mess. So I much rather put the adhesive on the die, uh, on the paper first before I die cut it. I attached the panel to a card base with some more foam adhesive and then added a happy birthday tag to finish this card. The last two cards I'm going to make are going to be stenciled cards. So I recently did a video about nesting dies and I shared a lot of these ideas in that video. And the last card that I did was a stenciled background. And I'll leave a link to that video. It'll be somewhere on this screen if you'd like to see that. So what I did is I die cut four panels of vellum. This is heavyweight vellum with the large oval balloon. And I picked a variety of Tailored Expressions inks to use. I am being really ink heavy around the edges of the balloon. So the middle of the balloons look translucent. Now for this first card, I'm gonna be stenciling five balloons and I'm going to overlap this yellow balloon with a teal balloon. What I like about stenciling balloons, and believe me, I have made a lot of stenciled balloon cards. I have a nice selection of them over on my Instagram. But what I, I like about stenciling balloons is when you are seeing balloons in real life, they're generally translucent. So when you're stenciling them, you can make them look pretty realistic. And you're going to see that when I stencil the teal balloon, over the yellow balloon. To me, it just looks like how it would look like if I was um, seeing it in person. So out of all of the balloons that I made today, the stenciled balloons are by far my favorite. I just love the way that these two balloons look overlapping each other. And since I'm being super ink heavy on the edges of the balloons, it just gives the balloon size a really sharp look. For the second card, I did the same layout. I just added two more balloons at the bottom of the panel. And now I'm going to use my T ruler to draw straight lines for the strings. And I'm gonna draw those strings um, on top of the balloons. And I'm sorry that I'm doing a lot of this off screen. Um, I do have to use the edge of my craft mat to um, line up my T ruler with. So I didn't want to move my camera stand. So that's what's going on. I just have that the, the straight part of the T ruler on my craft mat. So once the lines are drawn, I'm going to use the black pen just to add the little line of um, string around the balloons. And then I finished the cards with a couple white heat and boss birthday sentiments. Again, all of the sentiments that I used today are from the Greeteries birthday sentiment stamp set. And I die cut the sentiments with the coordinating sentiment suite die set. I had so much fun putting together these birthday cards. I can never have enough birthday cards in my card collection, especially since my daughter is now in school and she's gained 15 new little friends. Um, all of the products that I used today, I'll have them linked down below in the description box. And I'll also leave links here on screen to another video that I made using products from Pixie Dust Designs. And I also have um, a greetery playlist, so I'll leave a link to that also. 
I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to like and subscribe before you leave. And I will be back shortly with another video. So I'll see you then. Bye.